guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Aaron. And we are back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Last time on, we finished up like a, almost like a three-part, uh, it was called the Coral Palms Coral Trilogy. Arc. Palms. Arc. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were down were... in Florida. Now we're back, but there is a consequence for leaving. Yep, they dissipated orders to go down because they tried to make the captain better. Yep. It backfired. Mm -hmm. Now they're stuck in the night shift. Night shift. Oh, I guess there were consequences. Do you think they'll go to night court? Does that one guy get to stay the captain? Yep. What's Holt do? He's being... Well, he's, he's uh, being he's, healed. He was stabbed. <laughs> with free bar. I suppose that's true. Boost me! It's not a secret meeting, Jake. It's an intervention. Oh, they give her the hair. The frosted tips. Yeah. I kept them ironically. Pretty funny, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna head out. Get out! Oh! <laughs> 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 Sorry I'm late, everyone, but trust me, it's worth it. Me and Jake are tip buds. <laughs> what? No! You know what? I do see it. It's bad. It looks bad. <laughs> I thought it was going to cut on the nose. They were going to cut on the nose, but no. Then it kept going. I'm like, it's going a long time. Night shift has everyone a little down. Yeah, that's because you don't get to sleep or see your loved ones or feel the sun or do anything that brings you joy. <laughs> Drunk and disorderly. Drunk and disorderly. Cybercrime. Ooh, cybercrime. Pretty cool. Caught a drunk guy humping a laptop. <laughs> I don't care for cheese. I'm a curd mudgeon. Well, you're too tired for humor. <laughs> if it's you're not solving any cases on the Who night shift. Hello, Hank? My God, you look beautiful. The weekend shift guy. Ever since I moved to the day shift, I'm happier, healthier. My stepson gave me my debit card back. Hello, Hank is happy and confident. Everything's Remember off. Cancer. Oh, no. We're in the upside down. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the same thing they told me when they removed my testicle. Welcome to your new life. No. We'll call ourselves the night boys. Kinda sounds like a male escort service. The Midnight Men. Even worse. The Dark Stallions. Looks like we're going with the Night Boys! <laughs> <laughs> Tasty little B and E. Just what the doctor ordered. Not actually. She recommended another week of bed rest. I was like, so whatever, sad. Dorcas. <laughs> I miss this. What do we got? Jacques rolls his own cigarettes. A habit he picked up from a prostitute in Marseille, but that is not all he picked up. Why do all your characters get STDs? Because they're living life. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a couple of sexy Twilight vampires. <laughs> I am Robert Pattinson. I want to turn into a bat. I've never seen the movies. No, me neither. They're an insult to the books. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Run the DNA for us first. Kind of feels like you're prioritizing work over our friendship. Because I barely know you. Fine. Message received. This guy looks hard. Who is this guy? <laughs> According to a recent study, the physical act of smiling can improve your mood. I suggest we give it a shot. Hmm? Now you all try. <laughs> big smiles. Bigger, bigger. Great. Now we just <laughs> have to... This is so good. Time for the next level. Forced laughing. <laughs> Well, that lab tech took a long time. Once we agreed to go to his birthday party, he was actually pretty fast. But what? most importantly, we got a DNA match. Hi, can we get this file, please? We're in a bit of a hurry. Oh, absolutely, honey. There we go. Good lord, that is porn. Oh, is that not allowed? It is not. No problem. I just close these tabs. My tabs are different. What? Got a lot of them. Mm. Type 3 <laughs> and type 9 and 12 and 13. Those are all the diabetes is I have. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, this is great. We're definitely gonna catch this guy before sunup, and you will be home to see your kid. Oh, oh, Shit, no. the sun's up. Son of a bitch. Damn, it's like 
bright too. I hate yeah. that when that happens. You think that it's still dark? Remember Jake Peralta? From the stories. Yeah, we talk about you at bedtime. Look at my cement truck. He loves Thank you, to have an accent. I love that you have a son. It's not messing everything up. It's just messing up our ability to solve the case and have fun. Ah, you know what I mean. I'm a nice guy. I'm in the right. I'll just go myself. <laughs> Bye, Nicolaj. Nicolaj. Yeah, whatever. See ya. I know your shift is over and you've had a challenging night, but I think I found a new way to raise morale. We got uh, snacks, games, decorations, chairs. Yes, chairs. <laughs> cool. Maybe we can mill around and small talk about how some of us are big lying liars who lie all the time like a bunch of liars, Rosa. I don't think that's good party combo. <laughs> uh, maybe we should just name our favorite sailing knot. I'll start. The bowline. How about some tunes? Cool. Merry-go-round music. Yeah, John Philip Sousa, the Skrillex of his day. Come on, people, hit the dance floor, have a good time. Why is no one having a good time? I specifically requested it. Gina, why aren't you dancing? I can't. I'm in the middle of a feud with the That's Not a Knife guy from Crocodile Dundee. What? He's being a real bitch. Fine. Paul Hogan? Just... That's not a knife. That's a knife. I tried to make this fun. I even learned what Skrillex was. Sorry, you're all miserable, but guess what? So am I. I'm exhausted all the time. I never see my husband. The late night NPR programming. Pure garbage. I'm done trying. We can all be miserable together. I'm sorry. Oh, Rosa, crying. Don't know what to do. Pat, Pat. She said Pat. Mento should have been back by now. We had plans to meet on that park bench once the coast was clear. Maybe he's deep undercover, or he doesn't remember who he is, or maybe he's dead. Wow. Thanks. You're right. My fiance is a total weirdo who's probably dead. I'll just give up on him and go do my paperwork. No, Diaz, wait. Maybe he's just really, really injured. Yep. Come on, Pat, honey. Pat, your mouth. Shut. <laughs> Smith. Oh, oh no. NYPD, freeze. It's Kane. This is Kane. Stick in the spokes. Damn it. He couldn't move fast enough. I need to commandeer this vehicle. It's a crossover. A, it's a crossover SUV, and you can't have it. I'm a cop. Can you please get out of the car? No, it's this Jess? is Schmidt's mom's car, and I'm more scared of Schmidt's mom? It is! <laughs> it's a crossover. It's from New Girl. This is the concrete jungle where dreams are made of. It doesn't sound right. Where dreams are made of? I don't know. You tell me. It's your dumb city. It's grammatically odd. Whatever. I'm sure wherever you're from has strange songs written about it, too. Los Angeles? Damn it, all the songs there are so good. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Watch my soup! I'm chasing a criminal. Your soup is not important. You took an oath to serve and protect. That applies to my soup. You know that's not what the oath is about. You're making a point you don't even believe. Look, you're going. Oh. 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 Damn. Oh. Damn it! Oh, I soup. Well, I spill my soup. You tell me which is worse. My thing. Very clearly my thing. Is that it? Crossover. I'm pretty sure that's from New Girl. Melanie's watched it, and it looks familiar. I think that's what it is. I know the name Schmidt's right. I considered having us watch all of New Girl, but we chose not to. We should have. <laughs> the night shift stinks. Stinks like a butt. <laughs> what are we standing around for? Put some Seuss on already. I want to get wild. <laughs> I guess I haven't actually spent that much time with Nicolaj yet. Nicolaj. Mason, am I seriously about to take emotional advice from Low Hank? You know you want to, compadre. Go to him. Hey, I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have said that about Pimento. I'm sure he's going to come back. I'm not even thinking about it anymore. That wasn't even me crying in the bathroom earlier. That was someone else with these same boots, but now she's gone. Look, when Jake was in Britain's protection, I would advise against it, though. If he does come back, things are going to get real raunchy real fast. Like, I do a lot of licking. It's oh. probably indecent exposure. I don't okay, want you to have to arrest water. You know what? I'll just start with this stack right here. Thanks, thing Rosa. Ears. Okay, good talk. This weird thing with what? Ears. Huh. Nikolaj's allergies are acting up, and now the dog seems to be allergic to him. It's this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to apologize. For what? Well, I kept talking about how I wanted everything to go back to normal, but if that actually happened, this little guy wouldn't be here. Or is he big? I don't know what size kids are supposed to be, or anything about kids, really. I think maybe that's part of the problem. It doesn't matter. 
I got a present for Nikolaj. Garbage truck. Thanks, Jake. Come on in. Give it to him. Nico! Hey, little man. A garbage truck! You want to know something cool? A truck just like this almost killed me today. <clears throat> uh, kissed me. Almost kissed me. Anyway, let's get some trash in this thing, am I right? You're silly. Yeah, I am silly. <laughs> oh, my God, this is a dream come true. I gotta get my phone. I gotta film this. Oh, but then I'll miss it. Oh, but I want it forever. Oh, but I should stay in the moment. Oh, but don't forget. Oh, my God, this is a nightmare. From you. <laughs> He's missing it. <laughs> I just got so caught up with, with the random crossover thing just for... Just for him to steal a car. It was a random crossover. It was just so random. She yeah. said the word crossover. She did. It's a crossover. Cross, crosswalk. She meant. Is that what she said? She came as a crossover. Uh, crosswalk. <laughs> it just, I was not expecting a fourth wall break. Yep. I, I just like Stanley. I know her. I don't know. I want to say her name's Jess. <clears throat> and yeah. I, I think it's from a show called The New Girl. And I just remember this song like, it's Jess. Zoe Deschanel is the name of the actress, right? Yeah, I, I think, think so. That sounds right. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen New Girl. But I knew, like, watching through this on my own before, I knew, like, well, that was a weird scene. And I looked it up, like, oh, this is that actual crossover. And then while we were getting up to this point, people were like, what do you got? What do you need for New Girl? And, and all that. I'm like, nothing. We're not <laughs> watching all of New Girl for this. This isn't Torchwood and Doctor Who. <laughs> you know? Sure. We only had to watch three episodes of Sarah Jane. <laughs> yeah, right. And that was just to kind of get, like, a feeling exactly. of those characters and stuff. But the, uh, yeah, I wonder if New Girl had anything. Blend, or if it just like I think it tr- did have something from Brooklyn Nine. Uh, I can't you, remember. Usually they all do. Yeah. And the one exception was Seinfeld, yeah. where like Larry David didn't want to do it. He yeah. didn't want to do it. And then they're like, you have to do it. Mm-hmm. So he wrote it in, and like it, it was going to be a Friends crossover, and he had um, all the characters die <laughs> in the episode. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, okay, Larry, you don't have to do it. Jeez. Now I wonder if they did like. Uh, Hey, Schmidt, can I borrow your car or whatever? And they borrow it, and then, like, what happened to my car? It's like, I'm sorry, cop came, stole it. You know, like, if that's what happened, then that's all it was. But Well, yeah, and apparently she, like, maybe that episode gave her a reason to be in New York. Sure, yeah. With. Yeah. Well, she mentioned about being from L.A. And I don't remember what the story is. I don't know if she's from L.A., she moves to New York, and she's the new girl in New York, because she's in an apartment or whatever with, like, roommates and stuff. But I've only seen, like, episodes here and there of, like, Melanie watching it, so... Okay, so it looks like there there was a, a scenes from New Girl. Was there? Yeah, that okay. had them in it. Uh, well, so. now we all know. Which which season was that in? Do you know of New Girl? Out of curiosity. Uh, this was New Girl season six, episode four. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'd have to watch a lot. We're not catching up. As an outside <laughs> observer, it does. It feels like a, like that was a weird scene. You know, but I, it has one of my favorite things from Brooklyn Nine Nine in it. Whenever she was like, "Oh, you're a cop, name a law." He's like, "Don't kill people." She's like, "I said the part too low." <laughs> that, that's a, that's been memed forever. It's a good really? line. So I really I like, like that. that one. That's fun. But my favorite thing that I see all the time is Captain Holt's thing here, where he's like, "You're not having a good time." I specifically requested it. <laughs> that was my favorite. What was the that cheese was good. thing? Curd mudgeon. Curd mudgeon. So uh. curd mudgeon, and then curd like you curd. Milk into cheese. Curd sure, I get the curd. Thought you of all people would love. No, it. I get the curd. I don't get what he's. Doing. When I watch curmudgeon. Titans, I'm a curmudgeon. He's a curmudgeon. What's a curmudgeon? I'm unhappy and I show it. Curmudgeon means you're unhappy and you show it. Yeah, it's yeah. a word for like a okay a angry it, old man. No, yeah, I'm sure it, I would love it, <laughs> but I'm like I don't know what he's referencing. I yeah. get curd. A, a curmudgeon is like um, Scrooge. Scrooge McDuck. No, Scrooge like. The Christmas Scrooge. Just the Christmas Scrooge? Uh, a bad-tempered person, especially an old one. Yeah. Okay. It's a curmudgeon. Hmm. The curd mudgeon is solid. Sure, yeah. That's good. A I female curmudgeon, curmudgeon is a hag. I probably would have gotten it had I gotten the <laughs> reference of the... You're telling me that that's not in the Ahsoka book? Curmudgeon? No. And if it was, I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I... It started off strong, like the Frosted Tips intervention. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I have to imagine, like that has happened so many times in so many friend groups. Not just for Frosted Tips, but like mullets, or like just the bad ones. Well, remember, uh, you guys ever watched uh, How I Met Your Mother? Mm-hmm. In that, they had interventions for a lot of stuff. Yeah. And at oh. one point, they had to have an intervention to stop having whoever it was who was stimming all these interventions. Yeah. It's like a Intervention for intervention. Intervention. Is it intervention? Intervention. Yeah. 
So, mm. bro- only ever should had an intervention for my mustache. Did you guys ever have frosted tips? I don't do anything with my hair. I always debated like, should I color my hair one time and see what it looked like different, I'm, or yeah. should I frost my tips see what it looked like if it, if it did? I've never done anything. I did nothing to my hair. It was always the exact same. I spiked it for like one grade. One grade? Did yeah. you? I think it was like third grade. Oh, I don't remember that at all. And I don't then, remember anyone's hair like before a certain point. And then I just remember like Rick always had like a little swoop. Yep. And then I went back to the swoop. But it wouldn't move. No, it would not. <laughs> like you could go like this and it would just. And then like I hadn't seen my side of the family for a year. I started growing it out. And it was like curly and wavy. Yeah. And everyone was shocked. Yeah. Because no one in my family has hair like that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Rick looks nothing like what Rick looked like before. No. I've never dyed anything or, or even like a frosted tip or anything. No. But the closest I would have done to like, like I, I've always had a cowlick here, so I've always like smoothed it off to the side. But do you ever go? The I other grew way? it. I grew it out longer, like ten years ago. Or do you ever go the other way at all? No, my hair I mean, will go I've, both ways if I have like. Yeah, I can do it, but it just it just looks weird crazy. because crazy now. I it looks like an anime character right now. <laughs> but but uh, I I have like when I was a. When I was younger, I don't know, during like the Friends era, I'd have really short hair, and it would spike up just the front. Sure, I did that. I used to do that, but that's it. Dude, my fucking senior pictures, I don't remember what the hell I was thinking, but <laughs> my, the haircut I got, like, it almost, it like gave me like, bangs. Like, I had like hair that just came down like, to here. Like the, like that? Huh? Well, like bangs like this? It, it was well, kind of would... like, as if you were balding, what uh, you would do. Okay. No, mm, it wasn't. Interesting. No, I don't think so. What are you talking about? I don't know. It was just, I just had bangs. It was just my <laughs> hair would just, my hair just came down. But like, it was like, I remember it being like gelled or wet or something like that. So like, it wouldn't just be my hair. Like, you know, like my hair is clumped up and stuff. It would be like parts of hair, right? Like, you know, if you gel it or it gets wet, like parts of the hair stick together. It would, it was that. It was like, bangs are bullshit, man. I don't know how to describe it. Who cut your I hair as a kid? Because um, there weren't many options where we lived. I didn't have... Yeah, man. Joe Kidd cut my hair. He, he <laughs> drove the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember who it was back in, like, younger years, but in yeah. high school, I used to always go to this one guy who was in Belpre. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what, who, what his name was or where he went now. He was the first person who was like, yeah, I, I don't know what the fuck to do. He was like, yeah, sure, cut my hair. Do it. I don't know. What? He's like, you want me to do your eyebrows? I'm like, I don't know. Sure. The only thing I've All right. ever, ever... So he, he cut my eyebrows one time. Yeah. And then I was like, no one's going to notice this. I don't even, I barely notice it. Sure. And like everyone I saw for like the next week was like, how are your eyebrows? Like, Fuck, people. everyone notices this. <laughs> like, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I have to trim my eyebrows now. Like, Do you? Like at the end. Like they're like translucent. You can't yeah. see them. But like they get really long curly hair is like Gandalf now. Yeah, he did like, he, like this part was darker and he like trimmed around like back here or something. The only thing I've ever, ever considered in terms of like dyeing my hair was like you can get like your eyebrows like darkened because sure. they're so light. But my I've done hand. the thing where like Jancy like has tried putting like darkened makeup on him. I'm like, yeah, that looks cool, but it looks weird on me. Yeah. Because it's so different. My aunt, uh, she, she like glasses so I can shaves off my... her eyebrows yeah. and tattooed them on. So like she never has to do makeup any day because yeah. they're always just there and done and ready to go. Man, I need a lot of trust in that tattoo guy. I guess. You yeah. Fuck up. Yeah, shit. Now you slightly have a. <laughs> you know, you're People's like, eyebrows. Yeah, you always look like a rock. Suspicious. <laughs> this so. resting suspicious face. But yeah, I've never dyed or anything. The only thing I've ever done is just cutting or shaving or something like that. Hmm. As far as like changing of hair. Yeah, the beard is the only thing for me too. In my back. Hmm. Oh, well, I mean. I'd, I mean, cutting all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it could be anywhere. <laughs> oh, man. Um, we had a story about Rosa and uh, waiting for Pimento. Pimento. Uh-huh. Well, he's, he's not returned. He's not returned. You guys too. talked about, like, well, he should be able to come back now. But he's maybe he won't. Returned. Maybe there's, like, a signal he's expecting. Maybe like, he's dead. The lights of Gondor. Yeah. The beacons. The beacons are lit. Maybe he... Gondor calls for aid. I mean, Rohan he... will answer. Rust of the Rohan! Oh, I'll do the whole movie. I'm sorry. Good. Good. <laughs> he was kind of weird with Rose at first. So maybe he's like just watching. He's trying to build up the courage. To go back to and come say back, I, you know? Maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we'll or Maybe he's trying to not. like plan the perfect entrance. So he's going to like come in repelling via helicopter or something. Sounds like Jake. Like Jake it does sound like that. something like Jake. There was something Scully or Hitchcock did in this. I can't. Oh, it was a. Uh, 
doing the smiling thing. I really liked Hitchcock's. Like he's like, like his smile on it. Yeah. I don't know why, but that one cracked me up. Meanwhile, I think it was Scully. He was like, my teeth will disintegrate. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> Exposed to oxygen. And then type 9, and then uh, 13, <laughs> half of 12. Those are all the diabetes I have. <laughs> like, what? So happy when I came off the steroids from the poison ivy. I was, I was worried, like, like I was looking it up. Like, it can just trigger diabetes, and you just got it now. I'm like, fuck, I was already on the edge. You know? <laughs> but I'm fine now. So, so happy. Like, I haven't had to pee much at all today. But, like, two weeks ago before we went on vacation, I was peeing, like, every hour. You were? Ugh. I was like, Eric, we are trying to hit the button. I can't! Right? No, I no! no! <laughs> the one, the only time that I ever really worked the night shifts consistently, mm-hmm. I was working on a video game, and the lead artist was in Australia. Oh. So him and I would always like talk and go over stuff, but it was we, I'd always do it on his time. Yeah. So I would like have the computer and Skype like next to my bed with the speakers on, and yeah. whenever you'd call, I'd like wake up oh. like one in the morning, and we like work for a couple hours, and then I'd try to go back to sleep. Did he talk like Crikey and he did like not. Gina did? No, actually, <laughs> a dinkle. <laughs> yeah, girl. No, he had like an Asian accent actually. Really? Yeah. My night. Sh- I didn't really had a night shift. Like, the closest was when we started Blind Wave on YouTube, where I just worked all day. Yeah. And then I would do like pizza. I would do our regular like video work, like weddings or commercial stuff. And then we would film Blind Wave, like when Aaron would get off work or I got off work. Film until like ten. And then I'd edit until like four, and then I'd sleep for like four hours. Oh my god! And some of those weren't even dependent on that. It was, yeah. um, we would have we like Calvin? live shows. Sorry. Sure, that happened too. <laughs> but we'd also have like live shows uh-huh. that didn't start. Like they'd air at like eight. Yeah. So we'd be there from like eight to them. midnight or yeah. something, or one or two, depending yeah. on what the shows were. And like sometimes it'd be like here's Arrow, and then Flash right after. So we're watching one, yeah. discussing, doing all that, moving to the next one, discussing all that. Had to stop, go hit record every twelve minutes on our camera. <laughs> Like, yeah, the best thing I give like Aaron like take this SD card, you do this and I'll do this one. Yeah, I'm always worried like what if he forgets it or what if he doesn't, you know? Like, yeah, there was so much. Stuff. I'd go yeah. home. I spend like it probably on average was about four hours, four hours editing one of them and getting it so okay. Render now. Pay for the render. I'll go sleep for a little bit. Yep, and then like <laughs> wake up. Try to wake up like what an hour or two later. Try to wake up. Then yeah. upload it. Then message me like, hey, it's up. And then I get it. I'm like, oh fuck, <laughs> you know. Try to put them in the morning before I have to go to work. Sometimes it didn't work. I'm putting them up. I have to go to work. I would go and work at Doughboys for like two hours until like, I don't know, it would slow down a little bit. And then I'd just fucking leave. Run home. <laughs> upload it there. Come straight back. I've gone ten minutes, you know? Yeah. Oh, that happened a lot. Like, I'm just praying. I'm hoping there's no, like, no one calling the store right now because I'm not there to answer. Hope there's not a fire. Yeah, right? Uh oh. So those were the those were the I, night shift days, I think. I was very happy once we stopped like watching movies when they came out at night. Yeah. We watched them the next day. Yeah. Because it's not like the editor had seen them anyway. Exactly. And yeah. So mm-hmm. like there was no reason to do them. But I remember some of those movie reviews were late. Some of those movies, yeah, they went pretty late. I was almost saying we should do night shift for Spider Man when that came out. <laughs> Yeah, last night. Maybe we should go in and do it. But I was also like, I hope no one ever blasts. <laughs> I was also already tired, you know. Uh, I was here. Yeah, you were here. You were, that was your night for stream. We do have that as a night shift, right? Kind of. Sure. Stream night. Yeah, but it only goes to like nine. To, yeah, it's not like it's not too bad. Not night shift where it's like no. you don't go in till seven and you're there till four. No. And five when we and really got a handle on blind wave and we had editors and we were like, let's just do like nine to five. Like when you're when you're younger, or you're in twenty. Like nine to five, it's lame, you know. But like when I got to this stage, I'm like, oh fucking hell yeah, nine to five. Sure. <laughs> now just make that nine p.m. to five a.m. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think that's about all I got. Gina did get into like a Twitter fight with Paul Hogan. You're right. Paul Hogan. Mm-hmm. Oh man. And then we did have the uh, return of Low Hank, who is doing great. Yeah. Since yeah. getting off. The did night. he have yeah. that ear piercing before? He did not. He no. had like the transparent glasses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I noticed the ear really, piercing. Like everything spit. Got rid of his know? testicle. Yeah. He's got his debit card back. <laughs> From his son. Uh, we met uh, Nikolaj, too. Nikolaj. 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 See, Nikolaj. now, it might just be my thing, but I heard no difference. There's no difference. There's, okay. I don't think there was. Good. That's the point. Yeah. Like, they were pretty much saying the same thing. It's like, the Nikolaj. And they're like, Nikolaj. Nikolaj. Because Maggie like, will say something yeah. and say something else, and it will sound the exact same to me. But she's not saying the same thing. Mm. Mm. Uh, Melanie will... Interchange the pole pool. 
and pool. Do those words sound different to you? Say them again. Pull, pull, like a pull, pull, a pull, and a pull. Like pool sounded different. Yeah. Pull. Yeah. Pull. A pool. Pool. And a pull. Pull. Those two sound the same. Which two? Pull and pool. Yeah. <laughs> pull and pull. Okay. What about like pull? Uh, I want to hear what you have to say. You have to say a pull. Like pole riders. Pull. Pole. Yeah. Pole. But it's spelled like pool, kind of. Pole, but no E. Pole. Pole. Well, it's pool. But it's still pronounced P O L E, right? Pole. Mm. Pole. Yeah. Like, like go vote in the polls. Pole. Yeah, but not go vote in the pool. Yeah. Right? Because that sounded different? Yeah. But don't go vote in the pool. Pole. Does that sound different? No, wait, what was that one? Pool. No, that sounded like pool. Pole. Pole. No, pole. Pole. Pool. Pool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe. And you can also go over to patreon.com slash blindwave and see the next four episodes or vote in some pools. That's it, right? Pong. Naruto. <laughs> go vote over there on uh, all kinds of stuff. Maybe movies, maybe new shows. Who knows? And uh, yeah, subscribe here so you don't miss out on more Brooklyn Nine-Nine.